Very quickly, just talking about nutrition as it relates to these summer lacrosse tournaments and why we're even bringing this up. So a quick big picture about health and nutrition and what's changing. You can read a few facts up here. Diabetes, uh, most of the children sitting here today were born, give or take a few years around uh, the year 2000. It's been predicted for several years uh, by Centers for Disease Control and others that one out of three of these children sitting here today will become diabetic. And if we ever go to a team sporting event, a summer tournament, it's pretty easy to see why, because you can sh show up there and you'll see a table laden with uh, fruit roll-ups and lots of colored sport drinks full of sugar, um, maybe granola bars, donuts, bagels, juice, um, some cookies, maybe even homemade cookies, a few apples, and that is what they have to live on for eight hours in maybe 80 or 90 degree heat. Um, so we have to look at, like, why is this changing these health stats that I have up here? Well, the fuel has changed greatly with how we feed our bodies. Um, so the big picture about food history, if you look at this, it's changed dramatically from what we ate thousands of years ago. And we have a lot of major corporations producing packaged food. It is really easy. We have busy schedules, so it's so easy to buy and consume a lot of packaged foods. The next slide. Uh, so our children's fuel, the big picture, we have beautiful spiritual fuel that's being provided here with FCA, your church community, your faith, and God. Um, emotional fuel, that is the love, support, and guidance that a family gives to their children. But we're talking here about the physical fuel. So that food or beverage that goes into your child is the only fuel that they have to nourish their cell, which builds their tissue, which builds their organ, which builds their whole body. So their only chance of healing from any injury or growing properly is every morsel of that food or beverage that goes in. That is their only fuel for their whole body. So what we see a lot of today, processed foods are not optimal fuel in any way. They're adulterated in many ways. Uh, they do not sustain our energy. They, uh, sugar in particular is something, if you look at that statistic, four pounds of sugar per person in the year 1900. Today, on average, each person in America consumes 200 pounds of sugar. So if you're not consuming 200 pounds of sugar, and that's the average, that means someone else is getting some more of that share. And that's a huge number, which obviously is fueling the level of diabetes that we're seeing. So some general guidelines, um, every, it will vary for each person, we're bio-individual, but 40% carbs, 30% protein, 30% fat is a good general guideline. Um, and again, I described that table at a summer lacrosse tournament that's very far from that. So what we might see at that normal lacrosse tournament table might be 90% carbs or 80% carbs, 10% uh, protein, 10% fat, but that can no way fuel a person. In fact, a coach shared a story with me at lunch just prior to coming in here. He said how a few years ago he had a lacrosse team. They're in the championship game. He had to leave the 12 o'clock game to go tend to something else. He comes back at 3 for the championship game and his great team. They weren't really able to move. They were very sluggish, lethargic there in the field. He thought, what happened? He learned later that uh, pizza had been brought in by some families had gotten pizzas, fed the boys somewhat near to that game, and the boys really couldn't move for that championship game. So what we're doing here, um, I've done a community outreach project. I've created menus over the past several years for some girl uh, lacrosse teams that our daughters have been on. And through a nutritional training program that I'm taking, I've done a community outreach project to take these menus and make them available to any team anywhere in the country that would want to use them. I have all the information available on my website for free. Um, and it's really um, easy. You can just take them, modify as is. So what we are going to do is each team, if there's a parent or two that's willing to be the food coordinator for your team for this summer, if you could just let Kathy Kohler know afterwards, she'll get your information, and then we'll follow up in the next day or two, giving you the information. It's all boilerplate material, how to do this. 
Um, I have menus already created, but they're fully customizable. And what we encourage is that each team, you as the team coordinator for that, get to choose the menus that you do. So you can gradually transition them maybe from what they were used to for food to heading a little bit more in this better direction. And these menus I've, we've used for the past probably five plus years uh, for our daughters' lacrosse teams. Everybody loved it. It built community because the teams stayed together at the breaks. It saves a lot of money. Parents aren't giving out $5, $5, $5 to every chow hut run that the kid needs to make or that the family needs to make. Um, so it builds community. It's great for the players, great for the team, nourishes the children far better, saves money easy thing to do. Uh, so with that, anybody who'd be interested for your team, again, please see Kathy Kohler, give her your name, and we'll give you all the supporting information you need to help offer better food.